Hey, so someone gave me a Wi-Fi pineapple recently and it was really fun to play around with it. And I want to show you guys how you can screw with it using my deauthor. Um, it's really fun actually to use both at the same time in combination because you can focus on your attacks, um, getting the data, getting clients connected to your network and this kind of stuff with the pineapple and use the deauthor to actually block other Wi-Fi to get these people connected to the pineapple or confuse them so they rather go to an open network than using their con the network they are connected to, um, this kind of stuff. Of course you can deauth with the pineapple too, but um, it's not constantly doing that. Yeah, but um, yeah, the main purpose of the pineapple is actually to open up the network and people should connect to it. So, but they're not doing it uh, voluntarily, not all the time. So what the pineapple does, it, it scans for these probe requests. Probe requests are packets uh, client devices send out when they're not connected to any Wi-Fi. They're sending, um, they basically question, is this network here or is this network here? So let's say you were, your phone was connected to free Wi-Fi once. So it, when it's not connected, it will ask, is free Wi-Fi here? And the pineapple scans for these packets all the time. And when it gets one of these, it will answer, yes, free Wi-Fi, I'm here, connect to me. And these devices will just trust that and connect to it. And that's how you get new clients. You can see zero clients are connected at the moment. And I have zero SSID and SSIDs in the pool. When I hop to um, <laughs> PineAP, you can see um, the daemon is enabled. So it will lock these things and respond to that. Um, but at the moment I will just have the check mark on capture SSIDs to pool. So um, when it gets SSIDs, so like these, this is actually um, a probe request my phone sent out because I uh, added a network test one to three to it just to see if it's working. And pawn two is my deauthor. So it actually added that uh, already. And um, yeah, we can we can screw with that because maybe you saw that already on the deauthor under text. Um, of course, the auth beacon, but there's probe request too. And maybe you were wondering what it does. And um, I will just uh, start it and we should already see it here. Um, there we have it. 96 SSIDs in the pool. And we're gonna reload it. Oh, hey, 300 in the pool. So it's sending out these probe requests I was talking about <laughs> with random SSIDs and the pineapple will get it and uh, save them, save them to the pool. When you have the check mark here, it will, it will also respond to every one of them. So um, I, I'm not gonna do this now because this will, um, this will spam the whole channel because you can, you can think of uh, at the moment it's sending 48 of these random generated SSIDs and for every of these packets, the pineapple will send a response. And you can even set broadcast SSID pool. So all these SSIDs in there um, will be broadcasted. So the pineapple makes up a new network with this name. Or not really makes up for every... It doesn't make up for every packet in new network, but it sends out these beacon packets saying, this network is here, this network is here. Yeah. And um, yeah, not only can you um, totally <laughs> spam this list, um, we're gonna start beacon 2. So it's sending out these networks as APs and um, also asking for these APs, even though they're not there. And when we now scan, uh, scan with the pineapple, you will see that we, <laughs> we will be spammed away. The whole list will be spammed with these, um, these fake SSIDs and uh, not only um, APs, but also clients. So just wait for it to finish dum, 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 dum. and there we go. Yeah, there are a lot of networks. You can see the, the scroll thingy here is so tiny. <laughs> and when you scroll down, there, there are the, all the clients. <laughs> Good luck uh, finding real networks or real clients here. It's, it's totally um, spammed away. So yeah, that's, that's not actually... Um, that's how you confuse a pineapple, but also how you confuse other Wi-Fi trackers. Because for example, shops or malls, sometimes they use Wi-Fi trackers so they can um, get more information out of their customers. 
so they can see where they are going, when they are leaving, when they are entering, um, what devices are they using, what networks uh, are the probe requests asking for, so they can see where the customer was before, for example. They can maybe see, oh yeah, it was connected to Starbucks Wi-Fi, so it's a Starbucks customer coming to us. Interesting. Um, this kind of stuff. So you can maybe screw with that too. And yeah, just interesting um, to play around with this, actually. Pineapple is really fun. So um, yeah, it gives you this, um, yeah, it's just, it gives you this boilerplate. And when you want to do more attacks, you can um, use the Linux system built into it or use the modules. It's really cool. I maybe go more into the modules, maybe making uh, making a few if I find some time. Yeah, anyway. So the author version I'm using here is actually modified because it's uh, generating the SSIDs every second. Mm. Not only it's generating every second new SSIDs, which it asks for, it only generates, uh, it also generates every second a new MAC address. Um, so the probe requests come from a random MAC address asking for a random SSID and that 48 times a second. Yeah. And uh, being the same, we'll send out every every of these SSIDs. That's kind of cool. I'm just gonna stop that because if before the neighbors get annoyed or something like that. So, yeah, the, the pineapple is actually fun. If you want to learn more about this, just um, go to Hack Five. Um, they do all kind of awesome, uh, awesome hack gadgets, and they have videos about it. So um, yeah, if you want me to do some things with it. Um, Maybe you're interested in that, uh, just leave a comment or something. Uh, I will play around more with it in, together with my the author because that's that's really fun. I have to say this. Yeah, wi Wi-Fi is fun and the pineapple is great to see um, what vulnerabilities it has because most, most people think as long as they're using WPA2 they're safe, but <laughs> this kind of proves the opposite. So yeah, hope you liked it.